gouging and you can't get anything half the time and people just coming in and buying whatever's on the shelf because they're in panic mode is not what I got into the gun business for. Gun sales across the country are spiking this year. Sales are now heading an all-time high and the year is still not over. The rise started around mid to late March, right after the pandemic started shutting down parts of the state's economy. 25 News reporter Liam McNeil tells us why we may be seeing an increase in sales. From COVID-19 and ongoing protests surrounding racial injustice to calls for defunding the police across the country. And now the lingering anxiety as we all await the presidential election results. While there is still some unknowns, there's one thing we know for sure. Uncertainty sells, no matter if it's real or perceived. So it's not your actual risk of harm, but your perceived risk of harm, uh, personal harm that uh, predicts. Uh, so that's one pathway. The other one is, and they refer to it as a belief in a dangerous world. So it's this diffuse fear that things out there are dangerous, you know, that this society is on the brink of collapse and not that I'm just going to be attacked, but things are gonna go uh, badly all around. Dr. Sam Fiala, Department Chair of Counseling and Psychology at A&M Central Texas says people's motivation to buy long guns and firearms for sporting is different than the drive to buy handguns. Fiala says it stems from their perceived view of the world today, leading many to go into defensive mode. Here in Texas, uh, we don't require you to have any type of uh, physical or range training to purchase a firearm. As a federal firearms dealer and a licensed to carry instructor, David Cross tells me it's concerning to see such a high uptick in first time gun buyers. Most first time owners think it's just enough to have a firearm in the home. Um, and most of them uh, do not know how to use a firearm or have never had any formal education or training in using that firearm. The spike in gun sales started towards the beginning of the pandemic, with COVID causing a panic and restricting group trainings. It caused one former gun shop owner to close his doors. I started getting people that didn't ever own a gun, never thought they should own a gun, never thought anything about a gun, and they were kind of coming in to buy anything they could touch. I'm not going to put the gun in a child's hands without an education. Why would I put it in an adult's hands without an education? No matter why you choose to purchase a gun, all three agree education and practice should be a priority. Safety, safety, safety. Because once you own a gun, uh, a lot of our data shows you're much more likely to die by that gun than by somebody else's gun. Go take a licensed carry course. Go to your local range of practice. Get an instructor and pay for good instruction. Cross also tells me the dynamic of gun ownership in the U.S. is changing. He says in the first six months of 2020, federal licensed dealers saw $10.3 million in sales. 58.2% of those buyers were African-American men and women. In Colleen, Leah McNeil, 25 News. Leah, thank you. Now, although we've seen an increase in gun sales, small arms analytics and forecasting shows that crime rates are relatively low across the country right now.